Hi, Pastor Bill, Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley. Today's a Monday. It's the 11th of January. We open with prayer. Dear God, we know there is no need to keep thinking about what we've done in the past because you pardon the wrongs we've done and you delight in showing mercy. You bind up all our wounds and you renew us by your love. Lord, you love all that you've made, and it is your very nature to love and forgive. Lead us to be generous in accepting and forgiving others in the same way as you accept and forgive us. Amen. Our reading for today is from the book of Romans. It's the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 8. Now, how does all this affect the position of of our ancestor Abraham. Well, if justification were by achievement, he could quite fairly be proud of what he achieved, but not, I am sure, proud before God. For what does Scripture say about him? Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now, if someone works, their wages are not counted as a gift, but as a fair reward. But if someone, irrespective of their work, has faith as righteousness, then that person's faith is counted as righteousness, and that is the gift of God. This is the happy state of people whom God accounts righteous, apart from their achievements, as David expresses it. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. Here ends our reading. It can't be said any clearer. There are many times in the Bible in which we're told the same message, but it's said very clearly to us that forgiveness, salvation, they are nothing which we can earn on our own, indeed which we can deserve on our own. Our merits, as Paul writes, come before God as rags rather than riches. Our merits are so small in God's own perspective. But it is through the cross of Christ, it is through the crucifixion of God's Son Jesus, that we are seen in a different light. God sees us through the prism of the cross. And because of that, we are forgiven. Because of that, we are given new hope for a salvation beyond our means and beyond our abilities. This is the gift that we discover in Scripture. This is the gift that is ours through Christ and always will be. Amen. Please pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God embrace you with a pure love always, and make you able to love, even as you have done. Amen.